Hey guys, Andy back here from Mediocre Hobbies bringing you day three of Leviathan week. Day two nearly killed me. Um, I definitely pushed myself a little bit too hard to try and get all of those Tyranids um, completed. I am quite pleased with the result. Not that it'll focus on those particular miniatures. Why would it do that even though that's exactly what I want them to do. Um, so as you can see, the Tyranid side of the Leviathan box set is now complete. You know, two units are gone, so you're barb guns, you're rooting, everything, they're all done, ready to rock and roll, and now it's time to move over to the Space Marine side of things. And like I said previously, I am lucky that I have the Phobos Lieutenant already done for a video. The Dreadnought is done, which is obviously a big part of the project, which is good, I'm one of the Terminators. So I actually managed to do um, some of the Librarian on my Twitch stream last night. For those of you who do not know, I stream on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday evening, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Irish time. Um, I'd be more than happy to have you as many as you'd like along. Uh, we basically hang out, do some painting, get some hobby done, and have some kind of fun chats about things. So um, the community is growing there, and it's kind of a lively bunch, so it's a lot of fun. So if you're curious, pop on down, see if it's for you, and uh, get involved. It's a great way to uh, kickstart your hobby for that evening. Uh, so like I said, I'm back on the tier, or the Space Marines. Yesterday was a really hard day. Uh, it went until about 15 minutes before my stream, so it was definitely like a 12-hour work day. It was kind of crazy. So I'm going to try and take it just a little bit easier today. Um, at least that's what I'm telling myself mentally right now. So my goal is to do the four Terminators and the Teleport Homer to have the Terminator squad um, kind of ticked off. And if by some miracle I do have an hour or two left at the end of the day, um, if that doesn't take as much time as I think, then I'll jump on and start doing the Terminator Captain but I, I'm in no rush to jump onto him. If I just get those Terminators done today, I will be super pleased. Um, and that will be another huge thing left um, taken away from the project. So that's what my goal is today. Terminator time. So wish me luck and uh, yeah, enjoy. Also, somebody in the comments did request that I show you guys some more things from my cabinets. So I will do that a little bit later in the video. I know you guys seem to enjoy me showing off some bits and pieces from my cabinets that are all around the room. So... I'm sure I can find something else interesting to show you in each video. All right, without further ado, let's paint some... I was about to say Tyranids, but I meant Terminators. So, these are the miniatures that I have left to paint for today. The Terminators from the set itself. They're absolutely beautiful. I love, love, love the new Terminator sculpts. Yeah, and like I said, I'm going to try and take today a little bit easier than I did yesterday. Yesterday was one hell of a day, one hell of a push to get through the remaining Tyranids. So I'm going to tackle these four remaining Terminators plus their Teleport Homer in today's video. I do always quite enjoy painting Space Marines. There's very few Space Marine schemes that I don't enjoy actually painting. And the Flesh Terrors are definitely one of the ones that is the most fun to paint. Um, I think I get pretty nice results from the base coats and washes and with all of the Leviathan parts painted up, I'm actually really looking forward to seeing what those two kind of box sets, both Indominus and Leviathan, look like as a kind of cohesive force. I think that's going to look pretty cool. And then hopefully in the next couple of weeks I can find some time to start layering up a couple of those squads and making them look even more beautiful or more menacing or more awesome. But I have a feeling that the... Uh, the busyness isn't going away anytime soon. There's always seems to be more to do. Um, more awesome miniatures on the way. More things to 3D print. More products to review. So, uh, yeah. I will try and find some time in the next couple of weeks, but I make absolutely no promises. <laughs> After getting the uh, Flesh Terror Red on all of the bits that require Flesh Terror Red, which is the majority of the armor, I then move over to Black Templar and do the chest emblem plus any of the other uh, armor panels. So on normal Space Marines, it's the shoulder pads, backpack, and head that are done in Black Ops. These guys are not wearing backpacks. So we'll do the chest emblem, the shoulder pads, the faces or heads, all the soft seals, uh, the casing for his storm boulder, and uh, the inside palm of his power fist are all going to be done in black. Today was quite a busy day, even though I went a bit lighter on the miniature side because I obviously had to do a podcast as well. So I'll be getting to that in a little while. So I'm only going to try and aim for kind of the red, the black and some material on their bases before I have the break for lunch and then record my episode of the podcast. 
which is actually for two weeks from now as we have another special guest on our podcast this week so look out for that I hope you guys are also enjoying Leviathan Week. I hope you're getting some bits and pieces painted up and following along. I have been getting a ton of messages of people that have been inspired and that are indeed jumping on. Even some people who don't have Leviathan, but they like the idea of a week of kind of challenging themselves. And I have been jumping on with that. I got a nice message from a guy on Instagram who's doing his Shatterpoint box set. And he's working through some Stormtroopers. And this week has inspired him to uh, get cracking on those and the results for them have been fantastic. So I really do appreciate any and all people who decide to to uh, jump along, get involved and uh, get some of their backlog done. Um, it's always a lot of fun to see the progress that people make because you decide to do a series like this. So yeah, huge thank you to all you guys. And I hope you're still enjoying the series and you are looking forward to the next couple of days of content. Okay, we are at lunchtime of day three of Leviathan Week. Um... Like I said at the beginning, we are going to be working on the Space Marines side finally and working on the Terminators. I'm a little bit ahead of schedule for today, like I figured I would be with the Terminators, um, which is good for today. Obviously, I'm taking my lunch break now, which I do actually take, uh, and then I'm recording a podcast at 1 o'clock. So, yes, that means I won't get back to these miniatures until 2 o'clock at the very earliest. And then I'll have the rest of the day to kind of put the last few base coats on and get them washed. Like in Dominus Week, I'm going to be focusing on that um, to get through these space marines. I'm going to get them all base coated and washed and their base is done. They look really good at that stage. Perfectly acceptable stage to do some gaming with. And then I will basically layer them up as I get some time later down the road. Um, which I really do want to do because they, they're uh, definitely one of my favorite uh, space marine factions. So where I am currently, I have, like I said, gotten the Terminators to this point. Now it's kind of hard to see, but I've done the red, black, and basing material. I decided to do basing material now. As like I said, I've got a couple of hours to do before I get back to them with my lunch and the podcast. So hopefully that uh, texture paste will dry, and then I will be able to uh, crack on. Yeah, I'm really happy with how they're looking so far. The new Terminators are definitely my favorite thing from the new, from the Space Marine side, the new Leviathan box. I'm a big uh, fan of those. Uh, people have been, like I said at the beginning, hammering me to see some more of the cabinets in my room. So I thought I would do that. Um, try and decide on which particular shelf you guys want to see. Um, there's quite a few. I don't know whether because I'm doing a 40k week I should just show you 40k stuff. Um, but if you're curious about some of my Age of Sigma armies, which are on the wall behind me, um, let me know in the comments if you want to see those as well. But for now, I'm actually just going to show you my current Cadian project. I know I did videos on most of these. But I really like how they're turning out. So, so obviously it started with the beautiful Katie Stans box set, which you didn't want to throw out, because um, I think it frames the shelf pretty nicely. Don't worry about this corner. We'll get to that in a minute. So, like I said, I've gotten my two infantry units done. Command squad. I added a unit of Ogrins. Really like Commissar. I've got the new limited edition Commissar to add to that as well. Love how this turned out. Super proud of my tank. Um, it just I love it. Um, I've got some of the new Rough Riders, but with Cadian heads. I've got another box of them to build now as well. There's my Archville and Games robot that I added into it. If I move these transfers away, these are my 3D printed um, Elysian Drop Troopers. I've got 10 of them painted now, and I've got 10 of them basically just built, or printed should I say. So I do have plans to do an entire project of Elysian Drop Troopers at some point in the near future. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of where my Cadian army is. Obviously, I did custom bases for things like this character. Nothing wants to focus because there's too much going on on that shelf. But uh, yeah, Cadians. Cadians. I do want a full Cadian army um, with all of the new plastics. And um, Cadians are such a vital part of the story right now that I'm excited for them. Okay, guys, if you enjoy my content, uh, don't forget to check out my Patreon links below. Uh, my patrons get access to a bunch of extra information, like an extra video every single week. And they obviously get a, a post every single day showing them kind of what I'm working on. Uh, and bits and pieces like that so if you are interested in getting involved in that there are links below it's a couple of extra benefits as well you can check out and uh, yeah i'm gonna go take my lunch and then i'll come back to it after that with the rest of the base coats and get these models washed and add them into the table of leviathan so i'll talk to you guys in a couple of hours okay now it's time to finish off the basing like i said i before i put the martian iron crust on their base um and i did the 
Griffhound Orange uh, on their base as well before lunchtime, so it had a, a good amount of time to dry, which means that I could jump straight in and dry brush the Rise of Rust and the uh, the bone color on their base as well. And then obviously rim the bases black and tidy them up. It is a really nice turning point um, for me when I'm painting to get the bases finished. Uh, it's always when I'm kind of finished base going and washed a miniature, I tend to do the bases on them. This, like I said, leaves them in a really nice place where if you want to leave them for now and play some games, or even if you're tired of painting them and you want to come back a little bit later, they're in a really nice kind of finished looking state. So I do thoroughly recommend that. This like leaving your basing till the very end of a project, I don't think is a very good thing to do. First of all, you want to be, when you're in like the last hour, half an hour, 10 minutes of painting, you want to be feeling like you're working towards the end of the paint job. You don't want to have to finish the model and be like, oh, the model is done, I feel great. All right, now I need to base the model and then you've got another hour of work to do. That can sometimes be a little bit disheartening, but still very enjoyable. I actually have managed to get my grubby mitts on a second copy of Leviathan. I know I'm a glutton for punishment. The Tyranids are going to somebody else, and but all the Marines are going to me again. And But this second set is going to be going into my Black Templars and I am so excited to do uh, the squad of terminators up again um, for my black templars the question is now whether i'm going to be doing them as a standard black templar scheme uh, or do they technically count as sword brethren are they supposed to have red shoulder trim and black detail i'm not actually sure now i'm gonna have to go back and research that unless somebody knows in the comments can let me know what the black templar terminators are supposed to look like the uh, Stern Guard are also going to go Black Templars and going to be really cool. The Flame Squad would also work for Black Templars, but they might get saved for a Leviathan or a Salamander's project down the road or go in with the Executioner's chapter. I'm not 100% sure just yet. But we shall, I guess, wait and see. So I was hoping that I would have a little bit of time left at the end of today to um, kind of get started on the Terminator Captain as well. That didn't really work out. These Terminators, even though there was only four in a teleport homer, still took pretty much the entire day to get done, minus the podcasting period of time. They do have quite a lot of detail. Um, and I think it was worth kind of taking my time and giving them the, the kind of effort they deserve. They're definitely going to be one of the focal points of the Space Marine side. Um, and of course, these veterans definitely deserve the uh, love and attention that I wanted to lavish on them. So I got them all base cutted up, all washed up, and that's where I decided to leave them for uh, today. I think I'm going to go crazy tomorrow and work on the Flame Squad, which means I'm going to be doing 10 Power Armored Marines tomorrow. Whether that's a good idea or whether I make it through that in one day, we are not quite sure, but um, I might get them to a certain point, and I might even continue on with my Twitch stream tomorrow, um, but uh, I guess only time will tell. So check back again tomorrow to see if I manage to pull that off. Okay, day three of Leviathan is now complete. Um, I kind of finished my goal today. I did indeed finish the Terminators off. Here they are in all of their resplendent Flesh Terror's glory. So that means that for the Marines, Flesh Terror, uh, the Terminators, Phobos Lieutenant, I got started on the Librarian on stream. Dreadnought is finished. So that does leave 17 models to do in two days. So I'm going to do the Apothecary on my stream tomorrow. Um, so if you want to drop in for that, I will be streaming from 8 p.m. I might do the Captain tonight, this evening, off camera, um, just to help myself out. And then the plan is to do the 10 Flamers uh, in one day and then five um, of the new Stern Guard in the second day. So wish me luck with that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as well. That would mean the world to me. Ask me any questions you want in the comments below. I will get back to all of you at some stage. Uh, don't worry about that. And um, yeah, that's uh, day three is a wrap. Let's uh, move on to day four. Bye.